Welcome to Tottori Prefecture. These are the Tottori Sand Dunes, the largest sand dunes in Japan. When you hear Tottori, many of you might picture the Tottori Sand Dunes or Japanese pears. However, Tottori Prefecture holds many attractions you've probably never heard of. I'm Wakana Matsumoto, and today I'm going to tell you just what Tottori has to offer. People tend to think of Tottori as being far away, but it's only about an hour and 15 minute flight from Haneda Airport. From the Kansai region, if you take the toll free Tottori Expressway, it's only two and a half hours. Within the prefecture, the JR Sanin Honsen Line and the East to West Sanin Expressway give you quick access to all of the sites. Why choose Tottori? First of all, it has abundant natural beauty. One of Tottori Prefecture's natural charms is its proximity to both mountains and the sea. You can enjoy the mountains on the first day of your visit and the ocean on the second. Let's start with the abundant natural beauty of the ocean. The area between Kyotango City in Kyoto Prefecture and Tottori City in Tottori Prefecture is known as the Sanin Kaigan Geopark and has been declared a global geopark. The scenery at the Tottori Sand Dunes and the Uradome Coast is particularly striking. I recommend taking advantage of the boat tours and clear canoes at the Uradomi coast. Enjoy the crystal clear ocean and the beautiful natural landforms created by the rough waves of the Sea of Japan. Head west from the Uradomi coast and you'll see the Tottori sand dunes. Fumon, or wind-wrought patterns, are natural art created by the interplay of sand and wind. The view out over the Sea of Japan from the low hill called Umanose is an awe-inspiring sight. In a corner of the Tottori sand dunes, there's a unique museum that exhibits sand sculptures. It's aptly called the Sand Museum. These delicate sand sculptures, made on a breathtaking scale, were created using only water and the sands of the Tottori sand dunes. Isn't it amazing how sand can become something like this? Further west is the Hakuto coast. Legend has it that this area is the setting of the myth Inaba no Shiro Usagi. It is said that a white hare that had lost its fur was saved on this beach by Okuni Nushi no Mikoto. In the summer, it's a lively swimming area. Now for the mountains. In Tottori Prefecture, the most famous mountain is Daisen. It's beautiful in any season, and particularly in fall, when the mountain is covered in a blanket of scarlet autumn leaves. The mountain is designated as Daisen Oki National Park. Halfway up its slopes is the best primeval beech forest in western Japan, while near its peak is a colony of Daisen evergreens and bright alpine plants flourish. Topping the list of ways to enjoy Daisen is the wide range of activities you can experience in these natural fields. Come find a huge selection of sports and tours that you can enjoy as a family throughout the four seasons. I'm sure you wouldn't mind relaxing surrounded by nature. How about a place full of soothing trees and flowers? This is the Tottori Hanakaido Flower Park. This paradise of flowers is one of the largest flower parks in Japan, 
and you'll find something in bloom all year round. There's a viewing corridor one kilometer in diameter and the flower dome, an enormous greenhouse. Bring your whole family to enjoy the flowers at any time of year. Next is Chizu Town. Here you'll find the forest holding the source of the river that created the Tottori sand dunes. How about some forest therapy, surrounded by fresh air and cool green shadows? The time you spend in the forest is sure to rejuvenate you. Go ahead and choose Tottori Prefecture's natural beauty as your next travel destination. Another reason to choose Tottori? One of the highlights of any journey, fine food. Tottori Prefecture is really the capital of food. Its lush natural environment offers a delicious array of dining possibilities. Let's start with seafood. Tottori Prefecture is located on the Sea of Japan. It's one of the greatest tuna fishing areas in Japan, and you'll see big Pacific bluefin tuna in the markets here. During the summer in Tottori, you can have the freshest tuna imaginable. The ultimate delight of Tottori summers is Iwagaki oysters, known as the milk of the sea. Summer is the right season for Tottori Iwagaki oysters. Sprinkle them with fresh lemon juice and enjoy them raw and tender. They're really big too, nearly the size of your palm. Natsuki, written with the Chinese characters for Shining Summer, is the Tottori Prefecture brand. I recommend the squid, too. The white squid is so fresh its flesh is almost transparent. Its firm, almost crunchy texture, its strong sweet undertones and its rich flavor make it a favorite. Next, there is Mosa Ebi Shrimp, known as the Elusive Shrimp. Why elusive? Since it doesn't stay fresh very long, you can only find it locally. It has a springy texture and a strong savory flavor, and it's even sweeter than deep water shrimp. Make sure to try it when you're traveling through Tottori. And now, what you've all been waiting for. Winters in Tottori mean Matsuba crab. Did you know that Tottori Prefecture has the largest hauls of crab in Japan? Tottori is one of the few places where you can savor full-course meals that are absolutely bursting with crab, from sashimi to hot pot. Don't miss it! There are also delicious treasures to be found in the mountains and pastures. The most famous of these is the pride of Tottori's autumn, 20th century pears. Each bite is bursting with fresh, clear juice. In autumn, you can go pear picking at the prefecture's pear gardens and enjoy this juicy fruit right off the tree. Since the Edo period, Tottori Prefecture has been a breeding center for Wagyu, or Japanese cattle. It's also where the beef hot pot dish Shabu Shabu originated. Tottori Wagyu Susugi Nabe Swish thinly sliced wagyu beef in hot water mixed with a seaweed broth. You'll also find many other unique, slightly eccentric dishes you can only taste in Tottori Prefecture. One of the greatest pleasures of traveling is trying local dishes. Enjoy the flavors of Tottori. Soak away the fatigue of your travels in an onsen. Tottori, a spa prefecture, has 10 onsen areas, each with its own unique character. There are so many that you could visit a new one every day. Let's start with this one. If you're looking for a scenic hot spring resort, try Hawaii Onsen, known as Japan's Hawaii. It's a beautiful spa where the hot spring district seems to float on the lake. At Misasa Onsen, whose history stretches back more than 850 years, you can experience the nostalgic atmosphere of a hot spring health resort. 
It's a hot spring village in the mountains, with rows of picturesque hotels and the elegant Misasa Bridge. The onsen boasts one of the highest radon contents in the world. They're said to boost immunity and your body's natural ability to heal. The most popular bath here is the Kawaraburo, or riverbank bath. Listen to the murmur of the river while you bathe. In summer, travelers are greeted by the calls of Kajika frogs. It's really a remarkable place. If you'd like to bask in a resort environment, this is the place for you. It's Kaike Onsen, the biggest onsen area in the Sangin region, located on the Sea of Japan and overlooking Mount Daisen. The location is perfect, with an ocean swimming area just minutes from the inn. Of course, at the swimming area, you can also enjoy sea kayaking and cycling. Since it's at the very center of the Sangin region, it's easy to access, too. Kaike also happens to be where the first triathlon meet in Japan was held. Every July, a highly competitive triathlon is held in the Sea of Japan and on Mount Daisen. And finally, let me tell you about a unique custom in Spa Resort Tottori. This song is called Yukamuri Uta, the hot water pouring song. It's a custom that has been passed down at Iwai Onsen since the Edo period. The song is a counting song, which you sing while pouring hot water over your head in order to help yourself stay in as long as you possibly can, which boosts the effects of the spring. Why don't you give it a try? It's another fun way to enjoy the onsen. Come soothe yourself at Tottori Prefecture's relaxing onsen. There are all sorts of reasons to travel. Why not explore the history of the area? Tottori Prefecture holds some hidden history. Shugendo is the practice of exposing your body to the rigors of nature in order to open the path to enlightenment. Mount Daisen and Mount Mitokusan were strongholds for this practice, and even now its traces remain on these two mountains. Since antiquity, Mount Daisen was worshipped as a mountain where gods dwelled. The heart of this worship was Okonomiya, the inner shrine of Ogamiyama Shrine. This magnificent shrine, built in the Gogenzukuri style, is located at the end of an approach paved with natural stones, which is said to be the longest in Japan. The interior of the building is decorated with bright murals and carvings, and its grandeur speaks to its former prosperity. San Butsuji Temple, Mount Mitokusan. Its inner shrine, the national treasure Nageidedo Hall, is built in a surprising place, right here. It's halfway up a sheer cliff on a rock wall with no way to get near it. How did they build it? Tradition has it that Eno Gyoja, the founder of Shugendo, threw it into place with his miraculous power. This is where it gets its name, which means thrown-in temple. No wonder it's known as Japan's most dangerous national treasure. Tottori Prefecture also has culture that's been handed down through the ages. Next, I'll tell you about some of the sites that are unique to Tottori. The Shirakabe storehouses and Akagawara cafe shop showcases a row of warehouses and merchants' homes from the Edo and Meiji periods. This retro street has been made over into stylish shops that include cafes, galleries, and shops that showcase local products. I recommend strolling through the old-fashioned streets in a beautiful Kurayoshi Kasuri Kimono, a traditional piece of wearable folk art from the late Edo period. This is a standard spot for Kuraoshi sightseeing. Now, let's look at some of the local folk crafts. These are not only beautiful to look at, but practical as well. 
There's a slightly offbeat museum with a collection consisting entirely of folk art. The Tottori Folk Crafts Museum houses a collection of approximately 6,000 pieces of folk art from Japan and abroad, collected by Shoya Yoshida, who helped to promote traditional craftsmanship work from Tottori Prefecture. Folk art isn't just something to look at. You can purchase pieces of folk art at Tottori Folk Craft Shop Takumi, located next door. Then, at the Takumi Kappo restaurant, you can enjoy food served in folk art dishes. All the food is superb and made with ingredients produced locally in Tottori Prefecture. As the prefecture which turned out the manga artists Shigeru Mizuki, Jiro Taniguchi, and Gosho Aoyama, Tottori proudly calls itself Manga Kingdom Tottori. Would you believe that the airport has a nickname after a manga character? Tottori holds popular spots based on the globally popular manga series Gegege no Kitaro and Case Closed, which is widely known as Detective Conan in Japan. More than 150 bronze statues of ghostly figures called yokai line Mizuki Shigeru Road, a hugely popular spot that receives more than 2 million tourists annually. The road is lined with shops that sell unique yokai foods and yokai merchandise you'll only find here. At the Gosho Aoyama Manga Factory, you can experience the world of Detective Conan. See, touch, and experience an array of inventions and tricks that appear in Detective Conan. will love it, and it's fun for the whole family. We really hope you enjoyed our Choose Tottori highlights. Tottori Prefecture holds even more magic to be discovered, and we hope you'll make it one of your chosen destinations. We're looking forward to your visit.